In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, dear parents and godparents, your family has experienced great joy at the birth of your child, and the church shares your happiness. Today, this joy has brought you to the church to give thanks to God for the gift of your child and to celebrate a new birth in the waters of baptism. This community rejoices with you, for today the number of those baptized in Christ will be increased. And we offer you our support in raising your child in the practice of the faith. Therefore, brothers and sisters, let us now prepare ourselves to participate in this celebration, listening to God's word, praying for this child and his family, and renewing our commitment to the Lord and to his people. And so, my dear parents, what name have you given your child? Benjamin. And what do you ask of God's church for Benjamin James? Jesus. And asking for baptism, your child, and asking for baptism for your child, you're undertaking the responsibility of raising him in the faith, so that keeping God's commandments, he may love the Lord and his neighbor as Christ has taught us. Do you understand this responsibility? And God, parents, are you ready to help the parents of this child in their duty? Benjamin James, the church of God, receives you with great joy. In her name, I sign you with the sign of the cross of Christ our Savior. Then after me, your parents and godparents will do the same. And so, Benjamin, I'm just going to make the sign of the cross over you. But your parents can trace the sign of the cross on your forehead. And the godparents as well. And now a reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. There is a Pharisee named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. He came to Jesus at night and said to him, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher who has come from God, for no one can do these signs that you are doing unless God is with them. Jesus answered and said to him, Amen, amen, I say to you, unless one is born from above, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus said to him, How can a man once grown old be born again? Surely he cannot re-enter his mother's womb and be born again, can he? Jesus answered, Amen, amen, I say to you. Unless one is born of water and spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. What is born of flesh is flesh, and what is born of spirit is spirit. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. And please be seated. This is a beautiful passage from from John because it introduces us to uh, Nicodemus. Uh, Nicodemus appears throughout John's gospel. In the beginning, he always appears uh, in the dark. He's kind of hiding that he wants to believe in Jesus. But at the end, of course, we know as after Jesus' death, who is there, who's present, Nicodemus uh, and Joseph of Arimathea, go to Caesar, go to, go to Caesar and ask uh, for, uh, to Pontius Pilate, not to Caesar, to Pontius Pilate, and they ask for his body. So he comes out into the light. And of course, in baptism, we know that we too kind of go from that darkness of original sin into light as well. That's why one of the signs for baptism is the uh, baptismal candle, which will light today for, for Benjamin, as well as why we wear white because it signifies that that light of day and how we're called now to live in that. And so we recall our own baptism and in a special way we pray that Benjamin may just continue to to live in that light of Christ. And Benjamin, don't worry, you can't be louder than me. It's just not possible. So you're good. But he can cry all he wants. It's not going to bother me at all. Now please stand. My dear brothers and sisters, let us invoke the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ for this child about to receive the grace of baptism and for his parents, godparents, and all the baptized. And our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. May the Lord give this child new birth and baptism through the radiant divine mystery of your death and resurrection and join him to your holy church. We pray to the Lord. 
Make him a faithful disciple and witness to your gospel through baptism and confirmation, we pray to the Lord. Lead him through holiness of life to the joys of the heavenly kingdom, we pray to the Lord. Make his parents and godparents a shining example of the faith to this child, we pray to the Lord. Keep his family always in your love and renew the grace of baptism in each of us, we pray to the Lord. And now let us ask the saints to pray for Benjamin as well as we pray together. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us. Saint John the Baptist, Saint Joseph, Saint Peter and Saint Paul, Saint Francis of Assisi. Saint Maximilian Colby, Saint Faustina, Saint Benedict, Saint James, Saint John Vianney, Saint Teresa of Calcutta, Saint John Paul II. All holy men and women. And let us pray. Almighty and ever living God, who sent your Son into the world to drive out from us the power of Satan, the spirit of evil, and bring the human race rescued from darkness into the marvelous kingdom of your light, we humbly beseech you to free this child from original sin, to make him the temple of your glory and to grant that your Holy Spirit may dwell in him through Christ our Lord. Amen. And Benjamin, may the strength of Christ the Savior protect you. As a sign of this, we anoint you the oil of salvation and the same Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. All right, Benjamin, we are going to use the oil of the catechumen for you. All right, and we're going to place this right on your chest. This if one of the parents could pull down just a little bit. There you go, just a little bit, yep. May the strength of Christ the Savior protect you, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. And let us pray, dear brothers and sisters, that the Lord God Almighty may bestow new life on this child by water and the Holy Spirit. And our response is going to be, blessed be God, once I can find it. Blessed are you, God, the Father Almighty, for you have created water to cleanse and give life. Blessed be God. Blessed are you, God, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, for you poured forth water with blood from your side, so that your death and resurrection, the church, might be born. Blessed be God. Blessed are you, God, the Holy Spirit, for you anointed Christ at his baptism in the waters of the Jordan, that we may all be baptized into you. Blessed be God. And draw water, draw near to us, Lord, the one Father, and sanctify the, this water you have created, that those baptized in it may be washed clean of sin and be born again to the life of your adopted children. Bless us, be, bless us be God. 
and sanctify the water you have created that these baptized through it, and Christ's death and resurrection may be conformed to the image of your Son, and sanctify this water you have created, that those you have chosen may be born again by the Holy Spirit and have a portion among your people. Amen. Now I'm going to ask the parents and godparents please to come forward. Dear parents and godparents, through the sacrament of baptism, this child you have presented is about to receive from the love of God new life by water and the Holy Spirit. For your part, you must strive to bring him up in the faith so that this divine life may be preserved from the contagion of sin and may grow in him day by day. If your faith makes you ready to accept this responsibility, then mindful of your own baptism, renounce sin and profess faith in Christ Jesus this is the faith of the church in which children are baptized. And so, parents and godparents, do you renounce Satan? I do. And all his works? And all his empty show? Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death and was buried, rose again from the dead, and is seated at the right hand of the Father? Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? This is our faith. This is the faith of the church. We are proud to profess it in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. And now the most important question. Is your will, therefore, that Benjamin should be received baptism, baptism in the faith of the church, which we have all professed with you? All right, let's hold them really close. And then the other way, they're kind of down. There we go. Benjamin, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. All right, Benjamin, now we're going to be anointing with the sacred chrism. This chrism we use next time for you at your confirmation. It's also used at ordinations as well as dedications of altars. And so it kind of has that fragrant smell to remind us of our kingly uh, identity. Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ has freed you from sin, given you new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, and joined you to his people. He now anoints with the chrism of salvation, so you may remain as a member of Christ, priest, prophet, and king, and tell unto eternal life. Amen. All right, Benjamin, you're about to get some sacred chrism. Smell it. And then did you have a white blanket you brought with you as well? Let's grab that. Benjamin, you become a new creation. I've clothed yourself in Christ. May this white garment be a sign to you of your Christian dignity with your family and friends to help you by word and example, bring it unstained into eternal life. Amen. If you just want to kind of place that over him. All right. You're a little taller. If you want to go ahead and light that off the candle. Parents and God, parents, this light is entrusted to you to be kept burning brightly so that your child, enlightened by Christ, may walk always as a child of the light and persevering in the faith, may run to meet the Lord when he comes with all the saints in the heavenly court. Amen.
All right, Benjamin. This is where I'd usually touch your ears and your mouth, but I can't do that. So we're going to have your dad, Patrick, do it for me, okay? And so may the Lord Jesus, who made the deaf hear and the mute speak, grant that you may soon receive his word with your ears. And profess the faith with your lips. To the glory and praise of God the Father. Amen. All right, this time I have the godparents come down, and the parents just stay up here and stand right here. Uh, you can bring it down, yep. Dear brothers and sisters, this child reborn through baptism is now called the child of God, for so indeed he is. Through confirmation, he will receive the fullness of the Holy Spirit, and approaching the altar of the Lord, he will share at the table of his sacrifice and will call upon God as Father in the midst of the church. Now in his name and in the spirit of adoption as sons and daughters, which we have all received, let us pray together as the Lord taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. And now we have a blessing for the parents. Kelsey, if you could bow your head and pray for God's blessing. The Lord God Almighty, through his Son, born of the Virgin Mary, brings joy to Christian mothers as the hope of eternal life shine forth upon their children. May he graciously bless the mother of this child, so that as she now gives thanks for the gift of her child, she may always remain united with him in thanksgiving through Christ our Lord. Amen. And Patrick, bow your head and pray for God's blessing. May the Lord God Almighty, the giver of life of both heaven and earth, bless the father of this child, so that together with his wife, they may, be, they may, by word and example, prove to be the first witnesses of the faith of their child through Christ our Lord. Amen. And now if everyone else could please bow your head and pray for God's blessing. May the Lord God Almighty, who by water and the Holy Spirit has given a new birth to eternal life, abundantly bless his faithful here present, that always and everywhere they may be active members of his people and may bestow his peace upon all who are here through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And let us welcome Benjamin into the Catholic faith. Well, Benjamin, you gave my niece a run for her money, but I think she was still louder than you. So there we go. And I didn't have a microphone back then. So congratulations. Thank you. What's up, buddy? Can I take my mask off real quick? Hi. <laughs>